Hey guys, it's me. I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I would do a quick one. Um, it has been raining here a lot um, the last few days. I think like it started Friday night and it's been raining like non-stop since Friday night. Um, needless to say, my joints aren't liking that. I don't know if you can tell, but my fingers are kind of swollen. Um, they don't seem to be as swollen now as they were earlier in the day, um, like this morning, but they just feel stiff and sore. Um, and I don't know, but like I've noticed that when I bend my knuckles, the little, you know, lines, crevices, whatever, they get really red when I try to make a fist. And also, like, if I try to stretch my fingers open, these ones too go red. And I don't think that's normal. Because, <laughs> like, I've seen other people and, like, when they do it, like, it just looks like a regular color, like a crease. But mine get red, so that kind of suggests to me that they're swollen because the skin is like tight and that's probably why it's going red when I do that um because whoops because otherwise I don't think it would be doing that um also um I I don't know if I I don't think I did I don't think I made a video of this um Back at the beginning of April, the very beginning, like the 2nd of April, um, was when my nausea started really bad, and I've had it, sorry, that's, that's my chair, um, and it started really bad at that point, and that day I puked. I don't know if I talked about this already, because my memory's bad, but, um, and I puked when we got out of my, uh, when we got off the highway. We were going to my dad's and we got off the highway and we had to pull over because I had to throw up. And I've had nausea like every day since the beginning of April. Um, but that's not what I was getting at. <laughs> um, uh, let me get, let me think. Okay, well that weekend also, that same day that I threw up that night, um, my left eye was swollen here and really a lot on the top lid. And then by the next morning, I had a rash here and here. And it wasn't like the usual redness that I get. It was like blotchy and pink, like almost looked like hives, but it wasn't raised, so I don't think it was hives, but it was very itchy. And the next day it was even worse. It was red, and it was still itchy, and my eye was still swollen. And that lasted about three days, four days, and then it went away. I was about to go to my doctor, and then it went away, so... and But the nausea continued. And the following week, I vomited three times in one day. And then the week after that, I vomited again when I got off the bus on my way to work. And the funny part is that when you get off the bus, where I get off, it's right um, by a little coffee shop. And they have a little outdoor patio where people can sit and eat and drink. And there was two people enjoying their coffee and whatever, and I puked right in front of their <laughs> lovely, I'm sure, for them, but I couldn't make it any further away from there, so. Um, but anyways, that rash seems to be back 
Um, it started this morning. It's not as bad as the last time, but I don't know if you can tell in the lighting, but it's blotchy here, and then it's kind of white, and then there's some more red blotchy, and it's a little bit itchy, not as bad as the last time, but I also, since yesterday, have had... Now, again, it doesn't look as bad as it did, but I have a really red eye, almost like pink eye, but there's not a lot of gunk coming out of it like I usually get when I get pink eye, because I've had pink eye a lot in the past when I worked in daycare. But um, I got some polysporin pink eye drops um, that's an antibiotic, um, but my eyelid is pink and puffy like it was the last time. So I don't know if this is just the same thing that happened the last time, only it's also affecting the inside of my eye, or if I have pink eye along with what happened the last time, but this is what's going on right now. And it really burns too. Um, and I also have something on my breast that looks like ringworm. So, so um, I haven't, I had ringworm once many, many years ago when I was about 19, I guess I was, 19 or 20. And um, I've had this for like over a month. But I thought it was just a patch of dry skin, and then it just dawned on me the other day that it really reminded me of the ringworm that I had years ago. Good old memory again. So I've made an appointment. Tomorrow's my day off, and I was really looking forward to staying home and relaxing, but I'm off to my family doctor tomorrow about this possible ringworm and whatever. Um bring you up to speed, I saw the GI doctor finally, and he does seriously believe the diarrhea is caused by the cell sept. He's prescribed Imodium in the meantime, um, but he only wants me to take a half a tablet every two days. Um, because I told him anytime I took Imodium, like the regular dose that it says on the box, then I would get the opposite problem. Um, so I tried what he said. I still got the opposite problem. So I think I'm going to take a half a tablet maybe every three days or every four days and see how that is. He's just wanting to take the edge off. Um, until I can get a colonoscopy, which is going to be on June 22nd, because he wants to rule out anything else, but he really strongly feels that it's the Celsep slash my Fordic. Like, right now I'm taking Celsep because someone gave me a bunch of theirs for free to help save money, um, but once those are done, it'll be back to my Fordic. They're pretty much the same thing, only my Fordic is a coated tablet. Um... And yeah, he just thinks it's that. However, the nausea, he's a little bit concerned about that because it's new um, and it's only been happening recently. So I also have to have an endoscopy um, to check my stomach. And he said if they don't find anything with the stomach, then it might have to do with the brain. Um, be, or like the nervous system because I was telling him how sometimes, quite often the nausea is made worse with movement um, like driving in cars, buses even just walking around um, so that's all happening June 22nd I'm going to be put under for it, thank God and so we'll see what happens with that and lastly, I saw the respirologist this week. I had a really quick pulmonary function test. It was just a really quick, basic one. The results were good. Um, sleep study test results were normal. I don't know what to say to that because I'm still not sleeping. <laughs> 
So there's no sleep apnea, no breathing problems, nothing wrong with my brain. He said everything works normal for sleep. So basically he said to try Benadryl at night. It worked at first, but it doesn't work anymore. Um, it doesn't help that I'm in pain most nights, uh, that attributes to it. So, I guess when I see my rheumatologist next month, I'm going to have to ask her to do something because the fatigue with lupus is bad enough, but when you don't get enough sleep on top of it, it probably just makes it worse. So, I'm tired of feeling like a zombie. Um, and that's pretty much it. He said I don't need to see him anymore unless my breathing becomes worse. Um, he still feels it's just weakened muscles. Um, that it might get a bit better now that I'm off the prednisone. And that's pretty much it. That's it. There's nothing else new in terms of health. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Does anyone out there watch American Idol? Because I haven't watched it in quite a few years and decided to watch it this season. Needless to say, I'm not very happy about what happened last week. I'm sorry, but from day one I had James pegged as the winner. So I am really quite ticked off that he got eliminated and I can't understand why because he put on a concert every time he sang his heart out he put his emotion into everything he put everything into everything if that even makes sense um, and he interacted with his audience and he was consistently good every single week he never screwed up um, and I don't get it and he was never in the bottom three, ever. Not even once. What is with that? I don't get it. But I'm pretty sure that he will have a record contract in no time at all. But I'm sorry, this is... The whole point of the show is to find the most talented person. And he was the most talented person by far. Everything. He had everything. I'm mad. What do you guys think out there? I love James. I do. I don't think I've ever felt this way about any contestants on American Idol before. Um, I love Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood, but I didn't even watch um, Kelly Clarkson. I mean, Carrie Underwood's... I don't think I watched that season of American Idol when Carrie Underwood won. Um, I think I only watched like the first two or three seasons or something like that. I don't know. And then I stopped watching for a while because I thought like it was crap and like most of the people that win don't really go anywhere. But um, yeah, I thought all the talent really this season was phenomenal. I really liked Casey. I don't understand why he was eliminated so early because he was amazing. I really liked Paul. Um, I honestly liked the guys more than the girls this year, although there were some girls that I liked. I do enjoy Lauren. Um, I liked Pia. But, um, yeah, I really thought a guy was going to win this year, but it's not looking so good for a guy to win this year. Oh, well. Um, I guess that's it. Um, this weekend we, Alex and I are going to St. Jacob's in Waterloo, Ontario for our second year anniversary and I'm looking forward to it. We're going to go stay in a nice hotel for two days and just relax and it's a long weekend too which is awesome. And Riley is getting into mischief, so 
I better go take care of that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.